Your story is so sweet. You joke that you don't realize how long you've been together or married. Is that, is that real? I mean, how long has it been? I don't think we actually know. No, we're just, uh, we really don't know. We don't really celebrate Valentine's Day, any of those type things. I feel like um, I'm trying to make sure she knows I love her every single day, and I feel like she does the same exact thing. Love at first sight? Pretty close. I had just come home from an NFL offseason. She was working as a news anchor in North Louisiana. I chased her for quite some time, and she told me no for quite some time. Eventually, she finally said yes, so I so begged enough. We, we knew pretty immediately, yeah. She spent one second with me. Yeah. It was over with. That's it. Changed yeah. her life. Yeah. That's it. What makes Andrew and Melissa's love story so incredible is how they are changing the lives of others. You said it's about making someone feel special and valued. What's the secret there? I think just meeting them where they are. Find what people need and go meet them there. Don't worry about whether it's the perfect thing or the thing that you feel comfortable doing. The couple's generosity knows no limits. Just a few examples, they gave $250,000 to an L.A. food bank, $50,000 to a struggling restaurant. There's Andrew handing out bikes he bought for an entire elementary school. And here he is helping families get affordable housing with Habitat for Humanity. Me and my family, we're going to cover the down payment for all of you guys in your homes. I can't imagine the teachable moments with your kids. They sometimes help you pick people or give you ideas. Yeah. Their son Michael devised a plan to create Christmas for homeless people in L.A., and they pulled it off with the help of the Rams. He's like, why wouldn't we just get them all a piece of paper and a pencil, and they can make a, a Santa list, and Santa will get them whatever they need. It was one of the most amazing things we've ever done, and it came from one of our children. As a tribute to all of his charity work, Andrew was recently awarded the prestigious Walter Payton NFL Man of the Year Award. The remarkable prize is just one more piece of serious hardware he'll be adding to his trophy room. I want to make sure when I win an awards or something like that, that like people understand like I'm still a very flawed human being just like anybody else. No. I still have struggles. No. What Seriously. kind of flaws? No. All kinds. Uh, how much time you got? We got all day. <laughs> we, we don't have that much time.